What is up guys, Jake from OneHive, bringing you War89 recap video. Uh, we're going to get right into it and scoot on this one because we're going to do something just a little different. Uh, I'm going to bring you guys actually five attacks today. A couple of reasons. One, there was just a lot of good attacks and I know that some of you guys have been asking for a few more. So we're going to see how this goes. Probably not going to be a regular thing. I want to keep most of the War recap videos uh, short. Uh, but you can see this is a blowout. There's no sense in going through it. We cleaned up basically all their Town Hall 9s. There's always a few stragglers left when it's a blowout because people aren't really motivated to get every last star. Uh, normal stuff there. But let's get right into the attacks. We don't want to drag this out any longer than we have to. The first one we're going to look at is uh, Scarecrow taking on their 29. This is kind of cool because it's just something different. Uh, it's a Lalunian attack and just drop some balloons. This is just about the, the clan castle over here. And I want to, uh, just a forehand disclaimer, uh, that this attack to me is, I mean, you can see the air defense, uh, they're le the level eight, Town Hall eight at level air defense. Uh, in my opinion, I have yet to see a Lunian attack that couldn't be done with replacing the, the Lava Hounds with six balloons. I don't think this attack's any exception, but that being said, it is a very nice Lunian attack. Um, he does everything right, and we'll go over it here. Uh, he gets the clan castle fully lured out, which is great. Uh, brings him up top, normal stuff there. Uh, we'll stop for a drink of beer while he does that. All right, yeah, just getting the getting the clan castle, uh, you know, troops cleared. He's trying to get that witch out, get her exposed. Um, Drops his last few barbarians, then starts dropping his wizards, and uh, the clan, the witch is out far enough that uh, he probably could have dropped an extra wizard down there or one of those wizards down there and got her taken out. But he had enough deep splash damage; doesn't matter. The king gets to her quickly. Uh, here come the balloons. Uh, he drops them in two two groups here on the sides, uh, sort of pretty straight targets to the to the air defense, and then drops his uh, lava hounds. Uh, rages them. Uh, that's great. They get there. They're Probably just one or so uh, balloon gets taken out before they target onto the Lava Hound. And then the balloons are going to do the work of taking out the, the air defense. Then they're going to, the balloons are going to sort of spread out and continue on as the Lava Hounds go to the next air defense. Uh, right there, boom, boom, Lava Hounds are gone. Now you've got the puffs, but they don't do a lot. Uh, from this point forward, it's pretty much just the loons and the minions doing the work. Uh, my opinion on this one is that he could have came in the backside here. That bottom air defense is a uh, straight shot. There's nothing that would have stopped balloons from going straight to it. So really, the especially if he took away one of those lava hounds, put six balloons there, he takes that out before uh, before the, that air defense has a chance to really do anything. And see his minions cleaning up. you even got some of the lava pups left cleaning up. Uh, doing a good job. Take the queen out there, which is really the last threat for him. We'll start to fast forward as these, uh, they come around and just swarm at this point. The queen's backing them up, and it's just a swarm effect. There's only one uh, Tesla left, and it goes down relatively quickly. So just an awesome attack by Scarecrow. He's working on different strategies, different compositions, and that's nice to see. And uh, that's, that's a great attack, Scarecrow. Good job, man. All right, the next one we're going to look at is uh, Wombat taking on their number 27. Uh, I like this attack. It's a, it's a semi-common base here. Uh, you'll see he starts it out just like a, a holo wee wee, uh, dropping balloons. I'm not sure why he went ahead and dropped that wizard there. Uh, I think one of them got taken out, but he's trying to create his funnel here, basically, and, and direct uh, where his troops are going to go. His loon deployment on the top was perfect. Uh, the number was perfect. The way he did it was perfect. Look at that. Everything is fine. He's got two balloons left. One of them is basically dead, so the number was just right. Uh, they get into those all those air mines, trigger that, and they're gone. Now he's going to get the clan castle lure. Just drops a hog down. That's plenty because this guy's got a lot of high, uh, high troop space uh, troops in that clan castle, and he triggers a giant bomb with that uh, with that one hog. So that was an awesome hog. Five troop space gets the lure and triggers a giant bomb. Then he just drops his witches, normal stuff, uh, king to help take that all that uh, clan castle stuff out. Then he goes ahead and drops his golem. I like doing that too when the clan castle troops are still alive. It distracts them. Uh, they start targeting it, and while they're targeting it, everything else just starts you know, meleeing on him and uh, take him out quickly. Drops his jump spell. Golem's got a free shot. Triggers the giant bomb all the way into the into the core. And then he's going to, uh, once his kill squad sort of catches up there, he's going to drop the rage. And then right here, here come the hogs. He's dropping them on the course, which is fine in this case, because there's not just a terrible 
uh, amount of damage there in the core. You got the two expos and the mortars. That yeah, it's splash damage, but he does a good job there. That's about right. Heal, rage on the core. Everything's going good. Uh, last one of the last giant bombs there. Last giant bomb right there triggered. Drops a heal. Everything's up. And at this point, it's it's GG. But he's still got. Look what he's got in the bag still. He's got like ten balloons and wizards and minions. He just wrecked this base, even without dropping those balloons, which was awesome on the back end. It just completely wiped it out. He look. He's still got four in the bag. He's not even dropped yet. He just tore this base to pieces. Uh, just a, a real nice attack by Wombat. Uh, didn't even have to use all of his troops. Uh, that's pretty rare to see uh, for a three-star star on a Town Hall 9, but uh, he literally could have kept all those balloons he dropped at the end still got the three-star. So impressive attack, Wombat. All right, uh, moving on. We're going to keep cruising, trying to keep this thing as short as possible and show you guys as much as we can. Uh, we're looking at Augie, or Augsy, taking on their 25. Again, I like this attack. I like what happens right here. I wanted to show this. Uh, this is his, just his few hogs to lure the clan castle. Right after they kill that archer tower, look here. Right there, they trigger one of the skeleton traps. So to me, that was awesome because for the price of those few hogs, he got uh, one defense taken out, lured all the clan castle, and triggered a skeleton trap. So now he gets to treat those skeletons just like any other clan castle troop. And if you can get them in the, before the attack starts like that, they're not nearly as effective uh, as when it, when that happens in the middle of your raid. So remember that if you see a cleanup and one's easy to get to, pre-triggering those is a benefit to you. And that I, obviously didn't do it on purpose here, but it just worked out that way. So remember that uh, it it really eliminates one threat there. Uh, then he just drops his troops as wizards. No stuff. He's going to take out that queen. She's already engaged, uh, so he's uh, going to uh, drop his hogs here. Uh, that she actually kind of veers off and goes to those hogs on the right, but his uh, his heroes are right there on top of her, and she's going to get taken out real easy. The hogs start making their way through the base. Uh, he's dropping heals. Uh, this base, I believe, didn't even really have double bombs anywhere, which is kind of silly these days. Uh, but like we've talked about, if that's the case, you run across it, you know what to do, and that's just hog the thing, just like Oxy does here. Drops his last heal. Uh, the reason he put it right there is because really there's not a, there's a giant bomb and there's not any other defenses really, so he. He had more heals than he really needed, and that's fine. Go ahead and use them. Uh, keep keep as many hogs as you can alive because that's going to help your cleanup uh, just be that much faster. Just the two uh, cannons left on the corners. One goes down, the next one's going down, and right there, uh, they're going to jump on that king, take him out, and you can see there's a lot to clean up left, but he's got a ton of troops to do it. Most of his hogs, his king, his queen, wizards, uh, I believe he's even got a witch up. Yeah, he's got a witch up still. Just, uh, just lots, of, and like I told you before, when you have that much left at the end of a base, and this base even has some Lego walls, uh, not a good base layout by any means because no double giant bombs, but when you have that many troops left, you just you wreck that base. So awesome job, Oxy. All right, moving right along. One more Town Hall 9 attack. Again, sorry guys for the Town Hall 8s, but we just don't get matched up with many Town Hall 8s uh, anymore. I think partially because of the, uh, the fact that our Town Hall 8s are pretty much maxed, and uh, we just have so many Town Hall 9s, it just tends to not happen. Uh, this one's Herc taking on their number 14. We've seen this base before. I actually three-started a base real similar to this uh, not just a few wars ago. You might remember, I think it was one of the live attacks. Uh, he's just doing a, a straight go wee-wee. Uh, drops his golems. Are too, those golems are too close together. Uh, they get bunched up here, but besides that, everything's going fine here at the start. And you'll see why it's too close. Because look over here at this Tesla just wreaking havoc on his wizards, on his uh, wall breakers. None of that went right because that golem wasn't over there. Spread those golems out wider. Uh, drops a rage. That rage, the back, the, the second half of that rage gets used. Uh, the first half might have been a little early. I think he, has, he thought his troops were going to be a little quicker than that. Uh, here come the clan castle troops that he's got to deal with. Uh, he rolls everything's moving in, doing fine. They finally get aggro on that clan castle. Uses the uh, barb king rage. So that's going to go okay. Drops his heal right there. That's a good heal. Uh, everything's just sort of working through the base right now. He's, he is losing still DPS over here on the right side from that archer tower and the mortar because that golem get bunched up and didn't go where it needed to go. So that really was costly. But right there, that to me is what made this the three-star, that jump spell. It connects all of those compartments with those Teslas, and it allows his troops to get out of the core. If those troops had to sit there and beat through each one of those compartments to get to those Teslas and beat through the uh, wall to get to these last few defensive buildings, this no way would have been a three-star because it's close as it is. We'll start speeding up two times here. 
Uh, everything's just moving out. He's still got one golem left doing some tanking, so that's awesome. And he's got some skeletons. The, the guy's splash damage is gone, okay? So it's just point defense at this time. And when you've got some skeletons, they do tank for you, especially point defense. They, the, the witch can make them as fast as they can take them out. Uh, he's, the, the skeletons are being backed up by uh, the Archer Queen, which is really what is doing all the killing at this point. One wizard left. We'll do one more fast forward level uh, because he's just got this last compartment as he comes over here. It's going to be the same story. Uh, the queen handling it and the, the skeletons trying to do a little tanking there, but the queen beat him to it. Uh, just a nice attack, though. That, that jump on the back end from Herc uh, really, really made the three star happen. So good job, Herc. Our last attack we're going to do is our Town Hall 10, and it is. Uh, KB taking on their number nine. Now this is a, a, a it's a, either a rushed or a premium town hall team, whatever you want to call it. Low walls, uh, defenses are not where they need to be, but it just it was a nice attack. Uh, and it, you know, anytime you can three star a town hall team, even if it's a premium, it's it's a it's a win. You know, it's not uh, it's not easily done, uh, and it's not like uh, King Beef's coming in here with level you know forty heroes or anything either. He's got level 17 uh, and level 15 heroes, so it's a nice attack. Uh, gets his funnel started. Everything's going to the core, and now he has to encounter those uh, infernal towers and with a real threat of this radius. Drops a freeze and a jump. Let's sell everything into the core. His peck is getting in there. Second freeze, stopping that inferno, uh, which is really key because that's a lot of damage output that's being delayed. Uh, and then right there on the back end, I still love this. You know, it's just... Even with that air defense up, he's dropping those things, and he's taking out these defenses that are that are going to be doing damage to his troops as they're trying to get through these walls. So to me, guys, this is just what works these days. Having something for the back end, whether it be a jump like Hurt did, whether it's uh, some balloons on this, but you've got to learn how to use them. You can't just have them and, and drop them, and you've got to have a strong enough force to make your way through the first part of the base to get to that point even. But you can see he eliminated three or four defensive buildings there at the end that now there's nothing left to shoot at his troops and his, they can go around and get the cleanup. So remember that, guys. Just get a plan. Practice it. If it's going to be loons, you've got to learn the proper numbers and timing to deploy it. If it's going to be hogs, you've got to learn about taking the giant bomb positions out and all that. Uh, so awesome attack, King Beef. And guys, that'll do it. Uh, let me know if you like. I haven't seen a few more attacks. I'll fit it in when I can and when I have time and when there's good attacks to a show. There was a lot of good attacks this war, so it was uh, it was something that I thought I, I, I could do and have a reason to do it. You'll see the stats here, 22 three-stars to their six. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. Normal war. Uh, until next time, Jake from One Hive reminding you guys to suck less.